Yo guys, what's up? It's Warspirit. As I am making this video, there are only 24 hours left until Overwatch launches. Quite possibly the biggest launch of a game that I have ever been a part of and I am so hyped. The plan is to stay up a couple extra hours tonight, have a long lie-in tomorrow and prepare myself for the midnight launch. And yes, I did take the week off work. <laughs> Hopefully some of you guys managed at least the day off as well. My holidays were coming up and they just sort of seemed to line up somehow with the launch of Overwatch. So uh, this worked out nicely. Got a whole week of gaming ahead. When you're actually watching this video, there's going to be about five to six hours until launch. Blizzard released a really neat image for the different launch times of Overwatch around the world. It'll be launching simultaneously everywhere on PC, Xbox One and PS4. So it's midnight in the UK tonight, British summertime, 1am Central European time which is early morning on the 24th and lucky Americans actually get it a day early on the 23rd of May between 4pm and 7pm going from Pacific time over to Eastern time. Aussies also have it pretty decent as well, getting up at 9am for their little Overwatch shift. Sounds like quite the party. I'm going to be streaming the launch, of course, twitch.tv slash warspiritx if you want to come hang out for it as well. Man, I'm glad it's finally here. I cleaned my whole flat today, hoover, mop, dusted, had a haircut last week, shaved. It's like New Year's Day, <laughs> everything needs to get done before the launch of Overwatch so that it's just everything out of the way and you're just this week is just literally sit down and play the game without having to worry about doing anything else. The only other thing I need to do tomorrow, which I should have done by the time you're watching this video, is grab some food. So I'm gonna be getting some pizzas, some pasta, some stir fry, chicken, quick, quick ready things to keep the downtime at a minimum on the eating schedule. I actually ended up pre-ordering Overwatch just a few days ago. I did have it pre-ordered from game but cancelled that because it was a physical copy and obviously it wasn't going to be delivered for the midnight launch so I just ended up getting it straight from Blizzard to guarantee that I would be playing as soon as the servers were up. Ended up going for the Origins edition actually even although I'm not the biggest fan of the Origins skins that come with it. I just didn't really want to miss out on the exclusives when I go for that 100% skin completion loot box grind fest in about 20 years time. So what else do you need to know for launch? Not much really, if you're on PC just make sure you've pre-installed the Battle.net client so you can install or update the game as soon as possible. On Xbox or PS4 you just do the usual shove in the disc or go find your digital download game in the little app section on your console. After that it's just log on as soon as the servers are up and hope Blizzard's server rooms don't explode. Judging by the open beta? which by the way ended up with over 9.5 million players, the servers seemed very capable of holding their own. But hey, not long now, anyway, until we do find that out. And once you're in game, just make sure your settings are all good. They might have been saved since the beta, just check them out and then after that it's literally jump in and enjoy playing your favourite heroes either for the first time or once again. And I do highly recommend that you play your favourite heroes. Fuck the rest of the people, just play what you want, play your favourites. The tryharding part can come a few hours after the launch party, that's for sure. Man, I'm just really looking forward to it. I'm really hoping we'll see some new stuff as well as soon as we do get in. Unfortunately, all the recent teasers and hype build up and tweets and Facebook posts and all that sort of updates from Blizzard this week haven't really led us to anything major. We've got one more developer Q&A tomorrow, i.e. today, <laughs> with Jeff Kaplan on the Overwatch Facebook page to see if we'll get any information there about the launch version of Overwatch. But my guess is it's more going to be promotional for the game since a lot of people will be checking it out on their Facebook page just to see what the game's all about really. A lot of people completely new to the game might be checking out that Q&A as well. So with people answering like, what is Overwatch basically in that video I think. But possibly a chance to see if there's anything new coming with the launch version. Fingers crossed. All that Sombra support sniper hype built up to nothing as of yet. We were all really expecting her to be in the Soldier 76 animated short, but there's no luck there. All the shorts were absolutely fantastic though. Really looking forward to the future ones. There's a cool trailer for all the animated shorts called Overwatch Cinematic Trailer, 
which seems to have a bunch of clips from all the videos with possible teasers for upcoming ones. One that definitely looks super sick is D.Va fighting a massive Omnic on a massive snowy plane like ice blizzards everywhere. Make it happen Jeff please, that'd be sick. My favourite one out of the ones so far though was definitely the Tracer versus Widowmaker. I loved all the action and ability usage, Widowmaker seeing Tracer through her rear view mirrors, Tracer throwing her pulse bomb like it was a fucking tennis ball. Uh, let's go! And like the part where Tracer's blanking up the sort of spiral stairs chasing Widowmaker was grappling up, it was just awesome. Even the Soldier 76 one today was great, just all the, the Helix rocket, super OP, massive explosions coming out of the animated version of Soldier 76. All the abilities just look super OP in these trailers. <laughs> it's awesome. And then you've got the feels coming through on the, the Genji versus Hanzo. Brotherly love, fighting it out, almost looking like it was going to go to the death. It makes you wonder why Genji didn't open the conversation with, oh hey, by the way Hanzo, I'm your brother, uh, let's go, you know fight the world. Crime's on the rise again, could could use your assistance bro. <laughs> but yeah, I decided to have a little a little skirmish first of all before revealing it and of course looks like Hanzo's gonna go help out the Overwatch team or, or, or some form of the Overwatch team with the mission of saving the world once again. Can't wait man. Alright guys, thanks for watching this little video. Diva gameplay to wrap up the closed beta footage and I'll see you guys hopefully at launch and throughout the week during my live streams. Get hyped, the game deserves it for sure, and it's so damn close now. Thanks for watching guys, and see you in my next video. Bye bye.